Welcome to this video in the Birthday Reminders project series. This is my second postscript video and in this I look at the possibility of customising the Azure B2C login. We use Azure B2C for authentication and as a default there are three Azure B2C login templates. The default is called Ocean Blue with Slate Grey and Classic also available. For most people, one of these defaults will be perfectly adequate, but I wondered what would be involved in changing the appearance of the sign-in sign-up form. It transpires that you can make a big difference to this form with actually minimal effort. Let's have a look at the standard templates first and then we'll look at customising them. This is the standard template and is called Ocean Blue and this is the default and this was selected without me even realising it when we set up the system. But we can change the templates relatively simply. So let's have a look at that. For that you need to be logged into Azure, uh, into your Azure account and if you're logged into your Azure, make sure that you're in the correct directory for the uh, B2C service. Uh, if you're not, you need to go to this symbol up here, which allows us to change directories and subscriptions. And you'll see here the directory names. I'm in the one that I set up with for B2C, but you can switch between them if you've got more than, well, you probably will have more than one, but you can switch between them. So once you're in the correct directory, go to the home and either search for Azure AD B2C or if it's one of the recent ones, select it here. I'm going to assume that's not here. So if you search for it and then select it, you'll go to this page. To change the template, Select user flows under policies in the left hand eye, left hand menu and you'll see your user flows here. Select that. I've only got one, so select it. And at the bottom here under page layouts, you can see I've already got ocean blue as the default. If you select that and go to the top here, From the drop down we can see we've also got slate grey and classic. I'm only going to be changing the templates, I'm not going to be changing any of the other layout items uh, throughout the whole of this video. So let's just see what happens if we select slate grey. It's saving it, it's changed it. I can now go back to my login form and if I refresh it we should get the slate grey. So that's what the slate grey looks like. Let's go back and just change it again. And we'll change it to the classic. If I refresh, that's what the classic looks like. Those are the three templates. And as I say, one of those may well be suitable uh, for, for you anyway. I'm going to change it back to Ocean Blue. And if we just refresh that again. Oh, maybe I didn't. <laughs> maybe I changed it to Slate Grey. How strange. Well, it doesn't seem like it's going to change back to ocean blue. Um, perhaps if I left it a few minutes, it would. But what we're going to do is change uh, the, or customize this th login form. The gray, the gray bit at the back is called a background image and the section here is called a banner logo. Currently we've just got a little cube in there. And we can change those very easily. 
first of all, we need to select our image for the background and uh, an image for the banner logo. In Azure B2C terminology, we're going to be using company branding. And the background image has got to be 920 by 1020 pixels. It's got a maximum size of 300K and it must be a .png JPEG or JPEG. And the banner logo needs to be 280 by 60 pixels and a maximum size of 10K. And again, it can be a .png, .jpg or .jpeg or transparent .png. If you want to use a transparent PNG, most uh, ways of changing that seem to involve using Photoshop. Although there are some online, online services that will enable you to create a transparent .png. I simply created uh, a .png with a white background using Microsoft Paint. And for the background image, I basically browsed uh, Google, Google Images uh, making sure I chose a, an image that was free for general use. Choosing the background image and the banner logo is probably the hardest part of the whole of this process. So once you've got those selected, it's then very easy to get those installed. So we go back to Azure and in in Azure, we want to go back to the Azure B2C page. And now we simply select company branding. And we'll see here we've got, I've only got one, it's default. So if I click on that, it opens up this page here. And it's asking us for the background image, the banner logo, and some other bits and pieces down here. But first of all, I'm only going to I'm only going to change the background image and the banner logo. I'm not going to change any of the rest of it. Um, that doesn't seem to be necessary unless you've got a specific need to do so. So I'm going to go to the select a file. So I've got one I've just called balloons. It looks like that. That's a preview of it. And the banner logo I created, as I say, with Microsoft Paint and it simply says Chris's birthday reminders. So it says the upload of those has happened. So click save. It says it's successfully updated it. So we can close the edit company branding and we've now got a tick against those two items. If we go back to our web page again, our login page, if I select reload, I now get my new Azure B2C login page with a background image and my logo. That's as much as I wanted to do. Um, as you can see, it is very easy to make quite an impact with very little effort, uh, which was precisely what I was aiming to do. There are lots of other ways of changing the Azure B2C login. Uh, if you've got more specific requirements, then uh, I think that, uh, you can do more or less anything you want with it, but it is a lot more complicated than that. I think this is maximum, maximum change for minimum effort. Well, thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, I hope it's been useful and uh, keep an eye out. There'll be more videos coming along soon.